Draven Ezreal. I think this is our first time playing against Draven Ezreal since the new set. It's a very good deck. Okay, Love Aftershock kills both champions. Um, love Troll Chant for protecting, and I, so I think I just keep this hand. Like, Ballistic Bot, you know, they can kill, but they have to use a pretty good removal spell to kill Ballistic Bot. So I think we just keep this hand. Troll Chant can help Heimer a little bit. Okay, so this is difficult. To, which one are we going with? Ballistic Bot or Averrozen Sentry? They're out there. Guess we're gonna go with the Sentry. Witness perfection, meat bags. Definitely punished. Should have gone with the Bot. I was thinking if they were gonna use like a removal spell, I'd rather them, you know, kill the Sentry, of course. I probably should just be waiting here. That's just impatient of me. Should have just played the bots and had Troll Chant. Yeah, you know, waited on with Troll Chant. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Witness me. Ready the torches. That's pretty nice. Light the signal fires. That was pretty nice. Wasn't exactly expecting that, but maybe I should have been. This ballistic bot has looked amazing for them. You know, they're going to be playing like rummages and stuff too. That card works great for them. Yeah, that was impressive. Just this, this whole game. <laughs> another card that makes another refort, you know, that makes a reforge thing. I'm actually kind of surprised that the that they didn't use like another removal spell in response. But I guess I was kind of expecting like a ravenous flock or something. Join me if you want to live. Oh no no no! I meant to attack. Can you improve perfection? I don't think they're blocking. So ordinary. Or not. This game just has not played out how, how I have expected it to at like any turn. Except for now. That's like the first time. Alright, wanna heal the victor, not let Ravenous Flock kill it, or just do another random mystic shot or something. Okay. Do have harsh winds. They can keep that thing from dealing damage to me this next turn. Awesome. Got the elusive.
That elusive is going to be pretty important, of course. With... Uh, with give it all. Quick attack. Make him uh, I hope they don't kill my hope they don't kill my victor. Maybe I should have played that after shocks. Now I really wish I had that extra mana. Let's have regeneration. Perfect. So I really wish I had that extra man for the troll chain. I wish I didn't cast that aftershock right now. That's gonna just keep them alive. What a draw. I've got meat bigger than you. Publish or perish. I mean, the rest of these don't really matter. I don't really know why I'm doing all the rest of that stuff. That's why we play two Static Shocks. Sometimes you need the second. Okay. One step closer. One step closer. Yeah, no, I, I didn't play Senna. I just don't I just don't want that many three mana cards. And I, I think really highly of Callista. And so we have Callista, Caretaker, Plaza. I just don't want more three mana cards. We're playing against Burn. This could actually work, because I may need single combat to like take down a Teemo, so I don't really want to mulligan that. Grizzled Ranger can be two bodies, so I guess I'll, I'll mulligan the Grizzled Ranger. Yeah, I think Spectre is just going to make, I think the pesky Spectre is just going to make a lot of our other cards better. You know, it's not anything that's super powerful on its own. With a Grand Plaza, it is a zero mana 2-2 two -two challenger with ephemeral, you know, basically a sapling, right? It's a zero mana sapling with the Grand Plaza. But even without the Grand Plaza, it makes like your Blighted Caretaker a lot better. Uh, be able, you know, just play it, play Caretaker. It can make... Um, uh, so yeah, it helps out there. It helps out with the Ravenous Butcher. It can just get Glimpse Beyond. I have my orders. I think I want to just kill a Boom Crew rookie. Yeah, because I have I have Caretaker that can take down the Teemo the next turn. Let's just get rid of a rookie. Something that costs zero or one mana? No, two mana, no. I need something that costs zero or one mana. The caretaker. No, two mana again. Oh, that caretaker away Callista? I need it between my, my draw step or or that warden spray. I need something that costs zero or one mana. I mean, yeah, I could Stalking Shadows, but if I play if I play Stalking Shadows, I don't get to Caretaker, and that's like the important thing is is Caretaker this turn to kill Teemo. I guess so. I guess that means they're going to strike me again with Teemo.
So if we are resigned to the fact that they're going to be striking me again with Teemo... Grizzled Ranger is the card that makes the most sense to play. No refunds. No one's the wiser. That obviously did not work. That was a great use cast salesman. Great hand for them. Turn one Teemo, turn two Boom Crew Rookie. Turn three Boom Crew plus Saboteur. Turn four use cast salesman plus Saboteur. Just a crazy good hand. All right, so Callista will level up before she dies. And then obviously our very next card is the one mana card that I wanted. This <laughs> is the very next card. Oh, she's not level one. She's not at two. She's at one. Sorry, my bad. My fault. Push back the darkness. I can do this. The two life with the thorny toad is pretty nice, though. I think those two cards had one puff cap on them. Let's make it deep. And another salesman for blocking purposes. That is quite nice. Come, come this way. Burn away the shadows. Their hand has been something else. But the good news is we are at 10. The boom crew can attack us down to 8, but you know, like, so we're kind of stabilizing. We're gonna take the Warden's Prey, look for like another Thorny Toad or something like that. If I take the Spectre, I can I can play Callista and three Spectres, and then end of turn, all the Spectres die, my Callista levels up. I don't know if that's the best play. Or just going like Blighted Caretaker. Oh, come on. That one had the Puff Cap on it. Try that out. Safety disengage. Okay, keeper is number four, so then caretaker would be caretaker in the two, and so my four three gets obliterated. What does he want from me? I don't have room for the four three, so we'll play the warden's prey. Obviously, I really don't want to see Decimate. That's that's the card that I'm really worried about. Please, no Decimate. But obviously, we're doing our best to try to win this turn. Ha! Made them draw the, the pesky Spectre. Instead of them drawing a Burn spell. And now putting Grizzled Ranger. And then Grizzled Ranger would die, give me a 3-4. Good job, pesky Spectre. They're like hoping to top deck a burn spell, draw that thing. All right, there we go, GG's.
One and O. Oh. And no plaza. All right, playing against some Gohard. So being able, the difficult part of this game is going to be able to, is going to be playing enough defense, right? Making the game go long, like having them not kill all of my stuff and go wide and kill me. We're not very good at stopping decks that go wide. None of these cards are really a mulligan in my opening hand. So we'll just keep them all. I pull the strings. Alright, well I guess they have go hard. Good, just everything costs so little mana. And by turn three, they've played four cards. Okay, I like that brittle steel. That is good. Alright. <laughs> they do, one thing they do is draw a lot of cards. So like these puff caps um, are going to be pretty decent how they do draw a lot of cards. Ooh, four four puff cap peddler. Especially if they do not kill this 3-1 Peddler. <clears throat> oh man, Crumble. I'll say next turn was going to be really crazy with the Chumple. With Triple Peddler. Um, so each one of these Mushroom Clouds giving them 14 Puff Caps. Taking out. Packed him good. Mm. One size that papers now faces. Safety is painted. Prime and ready. All right, cool. Yeah, that's they do draw a lot of cards. So all these puff caps. Um, you know, like they're gonna add up, that's for sure. That's keep up, keep up. That's our goal. Right there. So that's gonna be thirty six puff caps. If this happens. Yeah, this deck's pretty fun. I, I'm, I'm liking this. Uh, drain two. Boo. I guess drain three. Technically. Gonna be Mystic Shotting the Spray Fin. Got a surprise for him. So I'm down to nine. Okay, I guess now I can block there. I do 
do want to preserve the life total. If they would have attacked with the pool shark also, I would have basically, um, you know, blocked those. I, w I would not have blocked the 3-2. So we've gotten 42 puff caps on him right now. Can you improve perfection? System upgrade. I th think that was the third go hard. I've kind of forgotten. No, maybe just a second. Okay, that was the second. They pass. All right, we'll pass two. Can you improve perfection? <clears throat> okay, good draw. Be nothing left when I'm done. Each turn we pass is good for me, right? Just gives them more opportunity to draw these puff caps, and I'm creating these ignitions. Yeah, both of our champions are in hiding. Haven't seen either champion yet. My opponent has played, I guess, just one of their champions. Um, I can't stop that. Aftershock too slow. But I can give them a whole bunch of buff caps, and so now they got 60. And of course the Aftershock can do damage to them. Second drain three of the Doom Beast. Can you improve perfection? Hey, a champion. Only one puff cap? They drew zero last turn and one this turn. <laughs> and each card has an average of two puff caps. So they are due for some puff caps. Like, if I play Victor, are they going to play Ronation? As soon as I play Victor? Yeah, that's basically what this is. It's, it's like a it's a mushroom control deck kind of thing. Yeah, the, yeah this is a definitely a control deck that we're playing. Um, Bree says, don't play Victor. All right, let's see what they do first. They're passing. <sighs> Passes are still good for me. They've played two go hard so far. All right, well, I got back up, Victor. Victor's spell is the Death Ray. Yuck. Draw your cards. Go ahead. You want to draw seven cards? I'll let you draw seven. Only one puff cap? How are they just not drawing puff caps? They've drawn like two puff caps in the last four cards. All right, well, that's not that's not the uh, sign of somebody that's going to play a ruination. Join me if you want to live. If you want to live, well, you're not. I would say you're not doing that, ballistic bot. You're not having your opponent live. Oh, they did play three go hards already. I guess I missed the third one. Okay, so that puts me down to four. Let's go plus minus there. My Most 
deficiency. Metal is perfection. There are some pump caps. Genius in action. Elusive. Alright, let's put them down to three. Let's see, they draw three puff caps again. That's like a 50 50 shot whether or not they draw three puff caps. Just one. Well, we're doing good drawing our champions now, right? Like, I complained about not drawing, you know, saying that we couldn't find Victor or Sejuani, and then since then we drew Victor, 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 Sejuani. Those have been our last four draws. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Let's get to it. We could use a bite. I am not taking that one point of damage. I'm not taking one point of damage. All right, we got Scooter Victor. Yeah, so they were they were just sitting on a bunch of ruinations and vengeance, you know, like a bunch of vengeance and ruination. Okay, let's. Have them draw three puff caps. Are you kidding me? Another Sejuani? You <laughs> so we went Victor, 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 Sejuani, Sejuani. Full house. Full house of champs. We survive. All right, over to Overwhelm. There you go, Draco. You ch figured out how to ch change your name here on Twitch. Awesome. We'll keep these ones. I guess some treasure tussles with their stuff pretty well. Another day in the field. <laughs> keep these cards. Don't play him. Not and ready. Ooh, Ice Veil Archer? I was not expecting Ice Veil Archer. I was expecting, you know, like, you know, like the, the two drops that we played last game. <sighs> Guess I still trade, though. Rising spell force. These old eyes still see far and clear. This looks a little bit different. That's gonna be a good hush. Oh, maybe I should just Rising Spell Force that. Instead of using the Bastion. I went pretty quickly to the Bastion.
united, nothing can stop us. Ah, they hit the allegiance. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Our rights fill the valley. We're cycling through our deck pretty good. I think I'm probably going to have the Sum Treasure discard the Urchin. Just gets farther away from leveling up Teemo. We can keep that 5 5 from having Overwhelm. Could also cycle the Teemo's mushroom, the Teemo's mushroom cloud. Maybe I just do that and keep urchin to cycle something else. Sorry, Teemo. Okay, Zoe's sleepy trouble bubble. That one's not bad. So Zoe's at three. Okay, a 10-11, huh? Well, I'll stun that. Why no Rising Spell Force to do damage? I just, you know, we've seen, like, Calling Strike from them already, and I'm just, just wanted to save that. Okay, yeah, so this is slow. This one's on the house. Safeguard our home. And they only have one card left, and we can we get to hush this Edgewani the next turn whenever they attack with this thing. We'll paddle star that. Where are you at, Zoe Six? <clears throat> Zoe's getting there. Seven to like, you know, turn on Nightfall. Yeah, we could have hushed Teemo to avoid the challenge, but this 10-11 Overwhelm I was worried about for the next attack. Gems are superb. Uh, bad for the teeth, though. Go, floaty crystals. Yeah, we never know what hit them. Look out for Reavers! Okay, so Zoe is at eight. Getting pretty close. One mana spell to stop that? No, not so much. Is there another champion? Probably. It's got to be turned to mirror. <clears throat> so another ten power overwhelms. They're gonna have a bunch of ten power overwhelms.
So basically dead. I think I need to block with this sparkle fly. Hopefully this works. Uh, I guess they're out of amp. They're out of mana. So yes, this will work. Okay, good. But I know I don't get like the sparkle fly um, now with the love love Zoe. But maybe we find another one. Um, I can wait on you a turn. Or let's see, four eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. I guess I could just open attack with all elusive. Yeah, because we, we just open attack here now. Alright, and we got a suit up. Let's gem you. Just to heal you past one health. Gem you. Gem you. Then we can suit up the doggy. We need to. That's still lethal. All right, great suit up draw. Great suit up draw. All right, GGs. Perfect. Got there. Victory was the mushrooms we planted along the way. We'll have a, a perfect 500 day. Uh, maybe we'll even do a better than that as well. All right, looks like we're playing against the deck that we just got done playing with Aurelian Soul Leona. That deck's very strong. Now I really want the, I really want the the landmark. I want the landmark. I want champions. So this is difficult. Like, this is a really good curve, right? One, two, three, four. But I kind of want to mulligan stuff and look for the landmark and the champions. No, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be kind of greedy. I'll write my own story. Cool. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Why does this card, why is it like silver instead of gold? Is it because it's a common? It has like a silver border? Is that why? Yeah, so it's, it's the prismatic card. But I thought I thought prismatic gave, gave them gold borders, but they don't have... So gold's only on champs and everything else is silver? Well, that's kind of... That's kind of meh. That they have different, the different color borders. I thought like the, like that's kind of the point to like prismatic everything, so you can have like, I guess necessarily everything would be like silver borders, and then you just have your gold borders with your champions. Bask in her radiant blessing. Yeah, yeah, they could get the um the card that obliterates my plaza. I really hope not, obviously. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. So I want to do Katarina, I think. But I don't want them to go like I play Katarina, they play Leona. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Follow the tracks. I'd kind of rather kill the Robin. This might hurt. What a specimen. Have faith. Man, 
it. That's pretty awesome. Ha! They'll never know what killed them. Challenger is <laughs> Challenger is so good. <sighs> that was pretty awesome. Pass it over to me. Don't think we take the pass, though. Behold the divine power of the sun! The power of the immortal sun. Behold the sun's holy light. I'll turn this into five. Yeah, maybe we turn that into five. Okay. I found my family, my bloodkin. The bloodier, the better. It's nothing personal. Of course, we can get another attack with the Katarina. I kind of want to see what they do. Those both into one health. That's fine. Can't play a daybreak card anymore. The bloodier the better. Man, Plaza Katarina is pretty nice. But of course, you know, like, are they gonna just like you know play big dragons and uh, kill us with some dragons? Unclear. The possibility. The pass is very tempting. Clad in shining sunlight. Cool, no hush. That's good. We got that eclipse dragon gone. Ours is the one true light. Another grand plaza. Devotion to battle. Let the blood shed begin. Unbelievers will see the light. The bloodier the better. Mm. Dragon, such fascinating creatures. Yeah, it makes sense to play this. So I have the, like the single combat kind of protects the Katarina, because if they use like a removal spell on the Katarina, then I can single combat and kill one of these things and put the Katarina back in my hand. I'll follow where I can. They're afraid. They should be. Sunward. Fury and Scout. That seems pretty 
be awesome. Your favorite star. I created it. We're gonna take down the Aurelian Soul. Alright, kinda starting over. We still have the the cat you know, the, we still have this Katarina with the plazas, but I don't really have any protection for the Katarina now. I'm worried about like the I'm worried about the the Aurelian Soul grabbing the nine mana in invoke card that exiles two things. I'm worried about that. Like that's that's what I think that they have here. Oh, I can't wait. And they had it. So good call not to play the Katarina. Ah, uh, Pill Cascade. I still have I still have seven damage here, I guess. So if they don't have anything that costs two or less mana, darn, they did. But at least I didn't get my Katarina obliterated, so that's good. What? They're just playing that card, I guess. I love this Greyhorn Companion. That's that's an amazing draw. So let's grab the attack token. See if they like spend like six mana, obliterate my Katarina, and then I go Greyhorn Companion for the win. I fight for the fallen. Radiant Guardian. Yeah, I mean I, I gotta play this. That didn't work out the best for me though. They get okay. They're gonna do that. If they challenge my Katarina and they and, and they have Pale Cascade, then I would lose. Or not, I wouldn't lose, you know, but I wouldn't win this turn. All right, well, they got rid of my Katarina. That was their dying wish. But that was pretty awesome. Katarina with the Grand Plaza. That was really cool, because, you know, like, we played against, you know, really in Soul, Infinite Mind Splitter, Eclipse Dragon. You know, they had all that kind of stuff. Leona, Robin. That is not easy for a little Demacia Noxus deck to fight through. And we fought through started. it.